Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver Reference 15703ST, 42 millimeters in stainless steel. The watch measures a reasonable 14.1 millimeters thick. The offshores without chronographs are surprisingly cuffable, and you'll see that when it's on the wrist. From lug to lug, though, as with all offshores, it is a big watch. 53.5 millimeters lug to lug, and if you measure these rigid little intermediate plots, the extension lengths that attach the bracelet to the case, you wind up with a burly 57.2 millimeter span across the wrist, and I'll show you that span. On the bracelet, I would not recommend this watch for a wrist smaller than mine, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. I think that the bracelet has limits to its flexibility, and in order to get the best possible fit, you're gonna need a 16 centimeter circumference wrist or larger. If you put it on a strap, it will wear better on a small wrist, but as issued, this watch is gonna be one for 16 and up. Now the timepiece, as you'll note, is surprisingly low. Without the modular chronograph and without the display case back of the successor model, this one wears thin enough that you could wear it with a formal cuff. And with a full bracelet, it has a formality to it that the strap clad models simply don't. There's also something wonderfully cohesive about any Royal Oak offshore or otherwise on a bracelet, though the offshore was originally designed with straps in mind. Nevertheless, having the integration of bracelet and case preserves one of the key innovations of the Genta model from 1972 and ties this model more closely to the standard Royal Oak. Now, as with all AP bracelets, this one is finished as beautifully as the watch itself. The transitional bevel perfectly aligns from lug to lug. You can see vertical satin finish and profile, longitudinal satin finish when viewed from the top. The tolerances of the bracelet are outstanding, and as you can see, removable links are fixed by screws. There are also big gaps on the underside to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping wrist heat. The deployment clasp, which is double deployment, closes sequentially, so one side must close after the other. And then the twin triggers are secure enough that this won't pop open. As heavy as the watch is, no matter your activity, you're not going to displace that clasp. It must be positively disengaged. Now, AP builds these things the right way, not just finishing them beautifully by hand. It takes about 10 hours to finish this bracelet, by the way. But they use screws and bars to fix the bracelet to the case. A bit more expensive than spring bars, but much more security and certainty in keeping the watch on your wrist. There are nitrile or synthetic shoulders to the two crowns, and you can see that there are handsome details you might not expect on such a burly sports watch, including a micro-beveling to the crown guard structure and a lovely expanding bevel that thins out at the mid-case but expands beautifully over the ends of the lugs. You'll also note a feature on the offshore that exaggerated one of the styling elements of the original Royal Oak, and that is the bezel gasket being expressed as an external part of the watch's style. You'll also note there's satin, then polish, then satin on the steel bezel, and the bolts, hexagonal, on an offshore are polished stainless steel. You'll note the same shape is used for the crown, both crowns, referencing the bolts in the bezel. And if you're wondering, how can these be so perfectly aligned? It's because they're bolts. There are nuts on the reverse side within the case, and the bolts are able to align because the nuts screw in and provide the actual retention through the back. 300 meters water resistant, 200 meters more than the chronograph. The offshore diver is a true ISO 6425 dive watch, which means you have constant seconds, you have a depth of over 100 meters water resistant, and you have a timing reference, which here is that internal rotating bezel, which you can operate using the crown up at, uh, I would call it about 10, 15, and that allows you to quickly rotate the fully loomed bezel, and we will see that loomed bezel later on. It's a wonderful timing reference, and after owning the diver, I think you're gonna agree with me that you really don't need the chronograph. A dive bezel is easier to read. Applique indices, we have wonderfully polished hands and high legibility day or night, surface or subsurface. There is a mega tapisserie lacquered dial base, the mega tapisserie, the largest of AP's three hobnail sizes. And you can see that unlike on the chronograph, there's no tunnel to view the date because you're not viewing through a passage that bypasses a chronograph module, whereas on the chronograph, you're looking deep into a modular movement. Here, the movement can be right up against the dial. So 300 meters water resistant, and of course, 
The case back on this one is solid, which actually means this version is a bit thinner than the model with the display case back that followed. But it's okay, I can tell you what's inside. It's the Automorp Game Manufacturer Caliber 3120. 60-hour power reserve, bi-directional, automatic winding, ceramic rotor bearings, stop second, quick set date, 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate, gyro max style free sprung balance for shock resistance, and a full balance bridge also for shock resistance. It is a good-looking, fairly tough, and relatively high horology movement that incorporates a combination of manual and machine finishing, and it's absolutely par for the course in this price point to offer a movement of that grade. Email tmossel at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Royal Oak Offshore Diver. And we're back with the Offshore Diver. Note the entire bezel, not just the index and not just a section, here, fully loomed.